why are we why are we doing this? Because we're trying to meet young people where they are. Young people are gaming. They are playing online video games. They are playing esports, um, and that is growing all the time. I strongly suggest you look at this report from Ofcom. Um, the, the link is there, and we can send that round at the end as well. This is their annual survey that they do. So they've been doing it for the last seven or eight years in terms of um, how young people are engaging with media in different ways. And look at some of the figures here. You know, 86% of young people of 12 to 15 year olds playing online. Um, you know, right up to you know up to an hour and 50 minutes a day that young people are playing. What we are saying is that esports is actually a, a positive activity in its own right that we should be encouraging young people to do and engage with, maybe more so than passive media. Um, you know, watching um, my, my uh, our CEO always uses the the um, the reference to would you prefer your 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 children to be watching videos of cats on YouTube or would you prefer them to be engaging with their friends in a social activity? So by playing as a team, by playing esports as a team, young people are developing the leadership, the communication, the team working skills, the decision making, the problem solving, all these holistic skills that we um, we accept happen in traditional sporting and musical arts activities. The same thing applies to esports. It's just being played using video games. And so a lot of my time is spent uh, talking to senior leaders in education, uh, senior decision makers and once we can get them past the point of looking at it as video games and get past that point and looking at it as this team based activity that let's not forget young people absolutely love doing. Um, so let's not forget the enjoyment that they get from it, therefore the positive mental well being that they develop through participating with their with their friends and competing because esports allows you to understand resilience and learn resilience You're learning how to win learning how to lose exactly as you do in traditional activities. So it's the opportunity, though, to engage young people um, that maybe don't engage in traditional sporting activities, that don't engage in the music, that don't engage in the drama. Where are they then representing their school or representing their college? Where are they getting this um, celebration of success in the same way that other people do for representing in those traditional activities? For a lot of young people who are into all things digital, into all things tech, who are into esports, they don't get that opportunity in other places. Esports gives them that opportunity.